in the summer of 1860, I, Kent Fraser, left my hometown of Lawrence, Kansas, to move to the new area people were calling Colorado, in search of the fabled gold deposits there. When I reached the Front Range, a month later, near the small settlement of Denver, I decided to go further into the mountains because I thought there would be more gold there. On the 12th of September in 1860, I reached the small mining town of Breckenridge. The area around the town looked very promising, but with the onset of winter, many mining operations had stopped. After seeing the other miners picking up professions that would help the operations, I, too, began to think about my own profession for the winter. After purchasing land, I decided to use my prior knowledge as the apprentice of a blacksmith to make my living while I was not in the mines. After finishing my smithy, I decided to make tools and other things that people would need but could not be brought here. After the snow started falling in November, I noticed that people were no longer trying to get food themselves, but putting it on those who were skilled in hunting. After December passed, we had used up almost all the food we had brought here with us. Also, tensions were especially high when the hunters came back empty-handed. At the end of January, we began to bury those who had been claimed by starvation or killed by those who wanted more food. After a few months of living off of what we could kill, Denver finally had a road made that ran close to the town, allowing us to get fresh supplies. Over the next several years, Breckenridge continued to produce very large amounts of gold, and I ended up making quite a bit myself. After most of the gold deposits were exhausted, many moved on to find easier loads. Several years passed before people developed new ways of mining, and then, after that, Breckenridge was great again. But after mining operations stopped in 1942, the town sat and flourished until I died in 1947.